it's one of those days isn't it where it's raining it's forecasted gals but i'm going to sheffield for a come van dine with me i think i'm going to be the only van that's going to be there to cook but i'm going to meet some lovely ladies and have a chin wag and do a bit of cooking and all that so i'm looking forward to this one and uh safe journey i mean flair is not a hundred percent i feel when she's driving i'm not sure what's wrong but she's making a lot of clanking noises it either is the pop shaft or the automatic gearbox i don't know i'm just going to say my blessings and hope i get there safe and sound <clears throat> and then when I get back, she's going to go into the mechanics to have a good check over. So I arrived in Sheffield for a come van dine with me and guess who's here? The famous Val Pritchard and her creative fan, <laughs> courtesy of Amy. And we're going to do a little cook up and um, we we'll should see what happens later. Right, we're in Amy's kitchen. She's hiding away. And um, <laughs> we're getting Val to be mum. She's highly resistant to the I'm idea. Not, she's she's got <laughs> and we've got Amy's keto what? biscuits. I'll take a prefer. Sandcastles. <laughs> so these are the biscuits. Amy, do you want to come and talk to me about them? What do you want to know? What's in them? The What's sand. Them? Sand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the sand. We're going to take them to the beach later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to edit this. Go well, on. Apart from <laughs> sand, sea <laughs> water, ground almonds, <laughs> sweetener, butter, and cinnamon. That's it. Taste them. I've tasted one already, and they are actually really scrumptious. Yum. <laughs> no, they are actually bloody good. You know, for like for a it's biscuit. All I, it's all over you too. <laughs> so Amy is going to make a keto chocolate cake. So you're going to talk through the uh, ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, 130 grams of butter. Hey, shush! Yeah, we're filming. Oh. <laughs> and we're not in a van. No, it's not even outside. You've got a cake, can't you? Just filming someone making a cake. Crying hard, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're all eating outside. Too much. And you, yeah. all uh, <laughs> you might have to edit this. So, my recipe says up to 120 grams of sweetener, but I don't use that much because I don't want it to be that sweet. And sweetener tastes like sugar. So, I'm going to put probably about 80 <laughs> grams in. And that's stevia. It's stevia and erythritol. Oh! <laughs> the chemicals! <laughs> What, are you putting another packet in there? Yeah, there was only a little bit in there. Oh, okay. Uh, three eggs. Three eggs. You just, everything just goes straight into the blender. Vanilla. So a teaspoon of vanilla goes in. Yeah. And you're not bothered, has that got a sugar content in there? It, it, this one's got made from glucose syrup, yeah, but it's such a small yeah. amount. I did have homemade, but I've just run out. I need to make some more. People. <laughs> Oh no, vanilla in stew! <laughs> it's not right. Okay, so now I need a hundred and fifty grams of ground almonds. So you don't you've got a measuring spoon that tells you No, I've got Oh you've phone. got it on a weighing machine. Seven grams of So you put them out into your um baking tins. Yep. And they'll go in the oven for an hour. Yeah, 40 minutes to an hour. So Amy's going to make the naan bread. What are you put in the bowl? That's coconut flour, uh, psyllium husk, <laughs> and sand. And sand. Butter and sand. There's a theme. There's a theme to this weekend. Sand is the theme. Where is it something you can do, though? It's just too hard to handle. Well, we're just going to... Um... <laughs> So that should make six. Trust you to come out with a bowl, eh? Put my So we've got some. Oh, can you pronounce it for me? Biltong. Biltong. Homemade. This biltong's proper, like, one of, ugh, so good. It's not chewy. Oh, that's lush. I could actually eat that quite. I'm jerky, I'm not so keen on, but yes, I could. Watermelon and fetus. This is where it could go all wrong. Oh, that's true. I'm all right. It is nice, but south. Ooh, the mother is nice there. There's always something really attractive about people with left hands. 
and I've just fucked to their music list. Um, yes. I'm getting a bit, um, this is just like my uh, second class. <laughs> and they're waiting for the chicken curry. So I'm gonna go Wait back in my the bag. Chicken curry? <laughs> Let me chop the fucking onion. <laughs> waiting for the curry, the fuck off. <laughs> On that cue, I'm going back to the van. <laughs> oh, it's my picture, I'm going back. Wow, they're really going for it now. Go <laughs> back, go back. You need that kind of Arabic music going as well. They all love this. I want to see the hip action. <laughs> Come back to the van, left the girls in the house with my chopped onions and my chopped garlic and ginger to make this chicken curry. I've forgotten the oil. I better ask Val. Surely she'll have some oil in her van. Let's go and ask. Val, have you got any oil? <laughs> oh, let's have a look. I didn't swear. Um, I have to show you a van. Right, where's the oil? So this is your cupboard that you keep all your oils in. How posh is that? Oh wow, what is that? It's oil. Is it? Extra virgin olive oil. Is that going to be all right in a curry? It's just wasted on your curry. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. Yes. It's not going to taste right. Why oh, isn't it? It's nah, it's olive oil, good. man. It's just like got that sort of funny taste to it. No, it's, a, it's posh oil. Oh, let me just, I don't want to see your backside. Let me have a look at your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the backside. All right, so we're going to use some extra virgin oil, which I wouldn't normally do. It'd be vegetable oil. So I'm going to put that in my wok and we'll see what I do. Right, for my chicken curry, about three, four onions chopped up finely and we're going to pop them into the oil and let them fry. We're going to let these onions fry until they're light brown and the girls are out there making a fire, getting the place set up. So I'm looking for my tin opener. I thought you might be interested in seeing where I keep all my cutleries in this little drawer underneath the cooker. I've got my portable one on because I can't be bothered to put the gas tank on. I'm going to open my tin of tomatoes. <laughs> I think there's a problem. Onions everywhere. <laughs> Let's just go back to what <laughs> I only opened that door and something fell out and then that was it. <laughs> oh dear. Well luckily I've got one onion left. Let's start again. Morning Mooney fans. Just a quick one. I have been Highly paid by this imposter with the blue hair to make you subscribe. So all you got to do is click on the red subscribe button and you can watch all of her glorious videos. I unfortunately will not be in any of them. Bye!